Hello. So we are back, and this time we have a mini PC. Check here. Huh? Gigabyte. Now, this is coming from a local repair shop, and the customers, uh, uh, they said uh, uh, it's just dead. Yeah, I will say, let's plug a charger and see what he's doing. Um, hopefully, it's 19 volts. Yeah, 19 volts, 3.4 amps. Let's see. So we need like an Asus or Toshiba connector. Yeah, that's the one. 19 volts. Perfect. You know what? The power supply clicked. Did you hear did you hear that the power supply? The power supply just clicked. And I'm asking myself why. Yeah, I do have a lot of current. No, 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 didn't click. Pressing the power button, nothing happened. It's taking no current, nothing, and it's not coming on. But that clicked was weird. Now, now it's not clicking any, anymore. Uh, let's open and check inside to see what uh, what kind of problem we have here. We just have in mind that click, yeah? Because I believe we are looking for a short, but not on the main power rail. How this is supposed to be open? Okay, and the PC is open. Uh, so the Wi-Fi card is not inside. The M2 drive is not inside. I mean, it's making sense to take the M2 drive, but why the Wi-Fi card? Okay, let's take the board out and have a look on the other side. It's coming out pretty nicely. We have a big heat sink and no fan. So the heat sink is out. Huh? This is a PC. Okay, let's check the main power rail. Zero ohms. So actually the short, it is on the main power rail, but probably after the first MOSFET. Yeah, we do have a short. Now what is shorted? We're gonna see soon. Power supply about one volt. Two amps. Yeah, two amps is fine. Let me grab the thermal camera. I can only hope to be a capacitor if it's a, like a DRMOS. Uh, probably we won't be able to fix it. So coming with current here. And we have 1.1 volts. Yeah, this is the plus. And what is getting hot? What is getting hot? What is that? Huh? It's a capacitor. So exactly here. It's a capacitor. I can't believe. <laughs> easy pizza someone said easy pizza you know what but which one because all looks fine let me come with some alcohol I mean, either this or this so coming with current again I mean check that check that one this one you can see it yeah the alcohol evaporate we should bring, say hello to my little friend. Now, may you know, maybe they they are watching my video, so I'll, uh, I'll remove the capacitor nicely. We do have another capacitor there.
Yeah. So um, yeah, that's uh, that's the thing with the with the pizza. Yeah, easy pizza. Let's put back the heat sink. We can check for short. Yeah. Now, if we are checking for short, no short. Yeah, no capacity, no short capacity, no capacity, no short capacity. Yeah, that's the, that's the rule. So the heat sink is back. I believe we can plug the power. It's still hot. Still hot, but we have we have the tool for something like that, yeah? Yeah, cold. Now switching back to 19. 19 volts. Plug in the charger. Yeah. And it's taking 500 milliamps. Check there. So actually, check it here. It's on. You can see it on. Yeah. Can I have a picture? Uh, huh? Can you check the picture? We have a HDMI. Let me take out the HDMI from the microscope. Switch to the microscope and no signal. And we have picture. Huh? Working fine. Can't believe, can't believe actually that was the problem. Anyway, let's put it all back together. The port is there, so it should be like that. I mean, you've seen, um, are so many laptops, so many like this, like mini computers, and the capacitor are dying. But one more time, yeah, remember how we start. We start by plugging the charger and hearing the power supply clicking. That it will not gonna happen on a switching uh, lap power supply. That's why I always said, you know, try to get a linear power supply for uh, for your, your repairs. And initially, I thought, you know what? Because I could not see any current, I said uh, the, the short is not on the main power rail. But we have the first MOSFET, and probably the first MOSFET cut down the current from the main power rail because it was shorted. But it is um, quite simple to diagnose the faults, like shorting, uh, shorted things. If you pay attention to the tools, yeah, like power supply, like multimeter, they are speaking with you. All you need to do is just uh, try to pay attention to them. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to stop here. I will say uh, thank you for watching. Uh, it was uh, quite an easy job. I didn't expect a shorted capacitor. I was hoping it would be like a shorted capacitor, but not expect. Thank you for watching, you know, like, subscribe if you like the video, and see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button, and you can get instantly access to our members-only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay, where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.